Hey guys, welcome to Tech Life. My name is Julio and this is day one of Coding Bootcamp. Good morning guys, it is August 7th. It is 11.30 in the morning and I just woke up. I just had some breakfast and I'm having some coffee now. Um, and I'm getting ready for my first day of Coding Bootcamp. I stay gone during the work week from home so I have to take all of my clothes. When I leave here, it looks like I am like moving out of the house. <laughs> There's my alarm. All right. It's 11.30. See? Thank you, Samsung. All right, guys, uh, let's get ready and then we'll talk a little bit more about the day. I am back, um, I got showered, got ready for the gym. And let me just show you, this is some of my stuff. Um, kind of regular clothes, gym clothes, work clothes. So I am trying to schedule out my day as much as possible. So uh, right now, it's now 12.15. I should be in study time. See, I'm already off. <laughs> Here's uh, the actual boot camp, 6.30 to 9.30. Got it going in the oven right now. So that is my start of day one of coding boot camp. What I'm fixing to study, now you guys know I'm from Texas because I just said fixing, is uh, I'm doing an introduction to Git on Team Treehouse because I think that's what we're going to start covering today. So I want to just be ahead a little bit and there's a there's a two hour course on, on uh, Team Treehouse that I'm just going to do real fast and just kind of get acquainted with it. I've never used Git so I just want to have a little bit of familiar familiarity. familiarity. I am making the drive to SMU for first day of coding class. I'm super excited. Um, well, that's really about it. There's not much more to tell you. Uh, it's an hour drive. So, see you guys on campus. Hey guys, so day one of coding boot camp is over, and it was actually today's Thursday. Uh, it was on Tuesday, but I didn't get a chance to shoot. It got dark on me, and I had to hurry up and get to work. But, um, Day one was a lot of administrative stuff. Um, we got to meet, um, you know, all the team that uh, is teaching us, and then also the team that's kind of behind the scenes, helping us get everything set up, and also um, the career team that is going to help us um, throughout the course um, prepare our resumes, our LinkedIn, and then um, help us through uh, technical interviews, and then everything that goes along with find you a new career if that is something that you're trying to do. Uh, so today is day two. Oh, and then um, once we were done with all that, which took um, most of the, uh, about two thirds of the, of the class, we were able to finally start getting into some code. We really just did some intro to uh, HTML, just a tiny, tiny bit of CSS and a little bit of the uh, terminal commands. Um, but uh, I think today uh, is gonna be a full day uh, with uh, coding and then uh, I'll get a better experience for how um, each class will go. What they've told us is that it's going to be a little bit of lecture and then some examples and then the majority of the class is going to be spent doing practice runs of the stuff that we learned. Hey guys so the week is finally over and um, the whole week basically concentrates on getting set up the first day with all the admin stuff and then you get into HTML and some CSS. And um, it's very basic. If you've never done it, uh, you will be walked through the very, very basic stuff. However, it benefits you if you are able to go online and get some HTML classes and some CSS classes under your belt before you show up. It'll just make the class that much easier for you. Um, so going into week two, we are continuing with CSS. And I think we're gonna get into our first Front end framework which is going to be bootstrap which i've also already used so what i'm doing is i'm trying to get ahead and just get better at the technologies that um, we're using at the moment the assignment we have is due this coming saturday but i was able to finish it right away because i'm pretty familiar with uh, using css and html what that has allowed me to do however is work with my classmates that are brand new to this and help them get through understanding how to use CSS to affect the page, uh, affect their HTML, and um, that also reinforces my own knowledge um, as I help them through whatever issues they may have. So uh, week one is done, pretty uh, pretty easy, um, not a whole lot of stress. 
Um, I, I do know that some of my classmates that have never done this before did feel a little stressed. They felt that maybe the pace was just a tad bit too much. Um, but I think that once they left class and they took some time to study on their own, and we did some meetups, and we also did a lot of Google Hangouts, so they were able to get the material a little better. Uh, that is something they tell you in class, is that we do class 10 hours a week, um, three hours Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then four hours on Saturdays, but they require, or they ask that you do at least 25 hours of self-study, so it only makes sense that you're going to learn more on your own. They are going to give you the fundamentals of uh, the technology, and then it's up to you to go out and really get an understanding and a mastery of what you are learning. Uh, I'm looking forward to week two. Um, again, I don't think it's gonna be extremely stressful, but uh, it will reinforce the knowledge I already have, and I can just go from there. And um, I'm looking forward to getting into some JavaScript to learn how to create some stuff. So I will see you guys at the next one. Talk to you later, bye. Hey guys, if this video was entertaining or helped you out in any way, or if you have any questions, please consider uh, hitting that like button leaving me a comment, uh, a question, anything that I can answer for you. And of course, if you would like to get more content like this, please hit that subscribe button. Um, all of that stuff really helps me out. As you can tell, this is a new channel, depending on when you've seen this. Um, and uh, maybe you can be my first subscriber. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.